hi guys welcome back to my channel it's you from happiness and crafting so today i just wanted to show you these lovely little envelope closures now i've been making these and they are so so simple to make um, just a couple of um, bits of card and a brad now what i've done i've popped them onto the back of an envelope um, and you just flip it down and it just seals your envelope so i think it just well not seals it it closes your envelope um, and I think they are really really lovely I've made a couple for little envelopes as well so they just pull down and open up um, I popped them on the side here this one I popped on the bottom so they've just opened up like that and I think they're really nice something a little bit different for your back of your envelope these ones I have made from my collage um, backing papers and I'm loving them loving them as envelopes um, and I've just popped this one I've got a lovely little a long bit on there um, so it just pulls down and flips up and that's just shuts your little flap so this one I popped on that side that one opens up I'm just loving these papers I think that looks really really lovely um, I will be adding these in with my um, little notebooks that I made and this one here I popped on the bottom so obviously you can make them out of anything that matches what you're doing um, but I'm loving these ones also they make lovely little um, closures for your flips on your pages so I pop one on here this is the first one I did actually um, so that just lifts up and then you just open that up and I've just decorated with a sort of like sea theme bits this one's I've made out of watercolor paper um, and I think they look really really lovely um, so it's a really nice addition to your pages so there's all sorts of ways that you'll be able to use them I even use them as like a little clip on the top of a page like that um, which looks nice simple to, de to do so I have got three envelopes here which I want to pop into my journal so obviously I want to make a couple more to go in there so I thought I'd show you how to do it now what I've done here, this is one of the um, papers, so just stick some of your paper, I've got 160 gram paper which I've stuck to a piece of card um, just to make it a little bit thicker because you want these um, quite sturdy, you don't want them all flimsy because it won't hold your envelope shut. So I've just stuck it on the back like that just so it's nice and hard this is just a piece of card coffee stain card which I'm loving which I just like these so these are lovely to go in your stash uh, because then you can just decorate them with a little bit of lace or trim or whatever and pop them into your journals or on the back of your envelopes um, so they're super super easy to make I'm going to show you how you do it just take a piece of card um, and you want to take a hole punch because we want to make the little circle bit at the back so just pop a little hole in there um, and then pop your this one is three quarters of an inch um, little circle punch so if you pop the hole in the middle first it's so much easier to do and then just find the middle and then you've got your little um, circle there which is so much easier than trying to find the middle with it like that so that's the easy way of doing it so let's just do a couple of those like that pop that in the middle like that and again same thing with this whatever papers you're using just make a hole in the middle find the center that and then just pop it out which is lovely so pop that to the side I have got some strips so these are great for you can make them out of all your scrap card that you have then I've just got some little strips like this depending on what size you want to make um, but they are just almost the sort of like same size some of them I've got a lot lot smaller so it depends how big a piece of paper that you've got and what you want to use so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a little piece off. No, I'm not. I'm going to round the edges first. Now, what I want to do, I want to get sort of like a bit of a point on this one. So I'm going to use the biggest um, of my corner punches. So just on the end, like that. So we've got a nice little round end there. And I'm going to cut this down a little bit, probably 
an inch and a half and then I'm going to take my little corner punch and just round these edges just a little bit just to smooth it off now I'm going to take my little dauber here and just ink round the edge like this let's move my scissors out of the way and then take one of these and just ink round the edge like that super super simple now what I do to try and get this in the middle, the hole in the middle there, is just pop it on the back like that, just so you can, it's sort of like level around there. And then turn it over, get a pencil. This is if you want it sort of like nice and straight. Um, but again, you can just um, pop a hole in it wherever. But I think that looks really nice. Just go over there where your hole is take a little brad pop it through the middle of both of them like that and there and just pull those open and there we have we've got our little closure so the little round bit that will actually stick to your page and then this is the bit that flips up and down um, i normally just squash it down make sure it's nice and tight like that and that's it and then you can decorate this these ones I've stamped um, I'm just making a few just to go in my stash so I've got them ready um, in there and again I've got the little blue ones here so I've got a piece of blue here I've got a little look a little um, I think it's a little sailor or a little fisherman on the top there so I can use him as the little closure so let's just in there and then cut it off about there this one's going to be a little bit longer just trim these edges off here so this is probably let's have a look about half an inch wide um, and that's about one and a half inches on there and this is a three quarters of an inch little circle on there so I'm just going to go around the edge and then we will stick this one onto the envelope. So this one can go on my little mermaid envelope, I think. Just go around the edge just to ink it all up. Again, you don't have to or you can go around with any colour that you like. I'm going to take a little brad. No, I'm not. We need to make a hole in here first. Let's just pop this over like that make a little hole no, make a little mark and then we can make a little hole in there pop the brad through like that and then open it up so so simple right let's pop those out of the way now we've got our lovely little um, mermaid envelope there so what I'm going to do, that will just stick on there like that and then this comes down like that and then you just push it up to close it. Now what I do when I stick it on, you want to stick it on so this way. So you stick this piece on so you know that this will, will um, come down and you can open it up because if you do it too high you won't be able to open up the envelope. So just pop it down like that and that just comes up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop, I'm just going to pop it on with a little bit of tacky glue like this. Oops. Just like that. Make sure we're sort of in the middle. Like that. Push that down, make sure we're nice and stuck down. By having this little round circle, it means that you don't actually have to push it through the page. So when you put anything in, it's not going to catch. Um, that was the idea of it, because the first one I did was on the journal. Um, so that comes down and that just flips up like that. So you've got a lovely little closure for your journal like that, which is lovely. So the first one that I did was this one in here, like this, so it opens up. So when you turn the page, 
you don't have anything on the back here so there's no brad poking through um, and I think they look really really lovely um, as little easy closures so if you've got your so these these don't sort of like flap open um, so I'm loving them I really do and I think that looks really nice so we've got our little fisherman on there so I've got a couple more here that I want to put just these little little ones on so again I shall pop it this way stick that down like that and then that just swings up and closes I might put a little bit of actually maybe I will pop another one of these on I think which would might go better I'll put that one on there I'll make that one up I'll put this one on here like this a little bit of glue again you can always so make up the envelopes that, that I did with the collage paper backing papers um, and I think they look really really lovely so stick that down so it's sort of in the middle push it down like that and then that just lifts up lovely and then you can also decorate this as well so that just comes down opens up and closes up so that's another one to go into the journal and then I'm going to put this one on here so let's get another little brad so you can make lots of these up and just have them in your stash so I'm going to put that on there little mark a little hole little hole punch pop that through pop that through like that push it down and then this one will stick on there and then that's it how simple and obviously you can use these for closures for all sorts of things as well you can make bigger ones and smaller ones um, to go on everything like that in the middle I think so make sure that's stuck down nicely and then that just lifts up and then you've got your lovely little closure loving them so so simple and so effective so there we go loving these ones as well i love this paper absolutely gorgeous and it can just flip on so these are the these are the um sort of like triangle flaps on these and obviously these ones have got the long flaps um so it means that you can do them on either one and i quite like them coming from the side as well which look really nice so that was that side that one I did from the bottom, it just flips up, and then this one I did from the other side, and that's a lot longer, so you could have quite a long one on there to hold that in place. Loving them. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I think they are really, really nice. Um, please do give it a go, um, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care and I will see you all soon. Alright guys, bye bye.